Yeah, and by the way, you know, you, pl you play uh, the crying children there, and I have nothing but empathy for those children, and their parents have completely mistreated them by committing a crime with their children in tow. But you could also, uh, if, you, on, if you don't on. want let a demagogue... You, let me just stop you point by point. So you know that these parents aren't doing this for a fun vacation, right? You know that they're coming from Honduras uh, and from whatever their horrible situation is. <clears throat> so when you say they've mistreated them, okay. you know they're trying to get their kids a better life. Okay, and I'm glad you mentioned that, by the way, because if they're coming from Honduras, which a lot are, uh, the first place they can uh, request asylum is Mexico. Instead, they have chosen to cross the gigantic country of Mexico to come to the United States. And why which would tells they me do they're that, not just Steve? trying to get out of trouble in Honduras because they're economic migrants, because they want what we have in the United States. And I don't begrudge them wanting that, by uh -huh. the way, but it's also our right as a country to determine who gets to enter the United States and, and under what circumstances. And that's not racist. It's not xenophobic. No. That's just common of sense. We're allowed to and have we can also play policy. the crime. Hold on one second, Steve. We are allowed to have immigration policy. Do you think that separating children, some of them toddlers, as you heard there, is the most effective immigration policy that we could have? I think if people commit crimes, they need to be prosecuted, whether it's an American breaking and entering into a house or a Honduran breaking and entering into our country. Unfortunately, when people commit crimes in the U.S., elsewhere, they are separated from their children. That's a terrible consequence for the child. It's not the child's fault, but it doesn't mean that we can hold the parent blameless uh -huh. and allow them to wantonly yeah. break the law and have an open border, yep. which is terrible for our sure. economic and national and, security. And one last thing, Steve. Um, you know that there is a law on our books that protects families that come here seeking asylum. How do you know that they're not seeking right. asylum? I, I, because they're not doing it the right way. When you sneak across the border, no. you can't At request border, asylum. You're when you to come seek to a asylum. checkpoint, no, you, Allison, learn the law. You have to come to the checkpoint and raise your hand and say, I'm here for asylum. And if you do that, even right now, even today, you are not separated from your children uh -huh. because you're not that's committing what the a crime. And we then, says. But Okay, so yes, you're saying that's exactly that you, what happens. So you but reject. if you sneak across, mm -hmm. if, if if you sneak across and commit a crime, and then once you're caught, say, "Oh, I'd like asylum uh, as a backup plan," well, that doesn't work. And then you are going to be separated from your children if you come the right way mm -hmm. and ask for asylum at the checkpoints, as you're supposed to, uh, at the at the legal crossing points. Yep. Then we take a look at the merits of that case. Okay.